people, I'm in Ozark, and uh, this is one of the things that's been popping up. You got this one right here, and you got across the street right over there, you've got one with the circle in it that hasn't yet been put anything in. And they're popping up all over uh, Rogersville, and now popping up in Ozark. So, I'm going to continue uh, mapping them out and my goal is to find out what they are. Or is it 5G or is it some other fancy way that we can um, have internet or is it, you know, cable or what is it? Sometimes we have to ask these questions instead of let this shit just pop up on us and then find out later that, uh, it ain't been tested or nothing. So I'm asking the questions. All right, I just rode right down the street from where I was, and I got another one here. And its wires go all the way up to there. And you can see where I'm at, Ozark Bank. That's less than 200 yards, and we got another one. And damn if there ain't another one right over there. All right, I don't know how I'm gonna get to the bottom of this, but I wanna know what they are. Call it curiosity. Call it whatever you want. I want to know what it is. Well, here's the other one. Right across from there. And it looks like there's another one down there. Well, what do you think about this? And now I'm down less than a hundred yards from where that one was, and I got this one. It looks different, but it's similar. The wire goes down. It's hard to say. Well, there's one suspiciously put on the back side of the pole because we're right across from the entrance to a school. I'm not saying they tried to hide it, but you can see they wrapped the wires all the way to make it go around here. Well. Less than 200 yards from the front of the school entrance, here's another one, and it's right across from the cemetery. Well, let's see how many we got till we get to Ozark. Well, here's another one in Ozark down at the foot of the hills. There was a couple, as I was coming down the big hill in in, I didn't stop for. But there's one right there. There's another one, I'm not gonna walk all the way over there to shoot. But you got these two that's so close together, less than 100 yards. I don't know. It could be some more down that way. I don't know. There's a crew right there. I wonder what they're doing. They might be, they might be know what that is. Richard Canini. Hi. Um, it wasn't easy for me to come here today, but I think it's important for me to share my own personal story. 
Uh, earlier this year, I noticed a, a growth on my neck about the time I found out about these small cells. Turns out that I had a cancer called a malignant schwannoma or a malignant peripheral nerve sheath tumor. It was removed on April 4th at Stanford, um, but statistically the prognosis is, is not good for me. I'm 36 years old. Two of the largest studies ever completed on cell phone uh, radiation and, and cell station radiation uh, were conducted and released uh, this year. After 20 years, the National uh, Toxicology Program released their studies, and the strongest finding was that male rats had an elevated risk of developing tumors called malignant schwannomas, the same one that I had. Sex and species dependent increases were also observed for lymphoma as well as cancers of the prostate, skin, lung, liver, and brain, but these findings were of weaker comparison compared to the malignant schwannomas. The new findings are incredibly important, says David Carpenter, a public health physician at the State University of New York in Albany who has long warned about cell phone dangers. I think this is the first clear evidence showing that these sorts of radio frequency fields increase risk of all kinds of cancers. He said, noting that malignant schwannomas have been detected in previous human studies of high cell phone risk. And I have been talking on my cell phone on speaker for 20 years right here. The, 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 antenna being very close to where the tumor was. Also in Italy, the second largest study was released in March of this year, and it also showed an increase of malignant schwannomas. A statistically significant increase in the incidence of heart schwannomas was observed in treated male rats. The RI findings, uh, the findings in Italy on far field exposure, the NTP study was on near field exposure like you'd have with your cell phones. The, the study at Italy was like you'd have from, from the cell phone stations. Exposure to RFR consistent with and reinforced the results of the NTP study on near field exposure as both reported an increase in the incidence of tumors of the brain and heart and schwannomas in the heart. These tumors are of the same histotype of those observed in some epidemiological studies on cell phone users. These experimental studies provide significant, sufficient evidence to call for the reevaluation of the carcinogenic activity of this type of radio frequency. So let me be your canary in the coal mine here today, okay? It takes years for these things to show up on the epidemiological records. But as you saw from slide number 24, I think it was, in 2005, people watching the Pope in 2013. This is a much bigger problem than, than just here. This is a worldwide problem that, that, we're, that we're incurring. Um, so, for what it's worth. Thank you.